What's up everybody? Matt Nuzzo here in beautiful Cape Hatteras, North Carolina. I'm gonna go out and test out a couple wings. And today I wanted to talk to you guys about a metric that people are just really getting overexcited about and putting too much weight to it, literally, is weight. Does weight in a wing matter? A lot of people are saying, you know, like judging their purchase choices based on the weight of a wing. And while the weight is an important metric, and I'll tell you why, it's not everything, right? So there are some lightweight wings that just absolutely suck. And there's some heavy, heavy wings that are absolutely amazing. So I wanted to, we're gonna ride two wings back to back that do have a different weight today. We've got the, uh, the Ocean Radio Glide, Alula, that's a four, about a four pound, five meter. The Reedon 47 Super Wing X, that's like just over six pounds. Similar size like that. They have a fairly similar size when you're on the water with them and the weight is over two pounds different. And so we wanted to ride these two wings back to back to give you a little on water experience. But the short story of it is, is that weight does matter and there's a few different areas that it matters and it doesn't matter and there's a few different areas where it doesn't matter. So I'll be, tell you first where weight comes into play. So weight is important, one, for durability, right? If a wing is heavier, oftentimes it is because it has more materials in the wing unless it has some big like giant heavy duty boom that adds a lot of weight to it. Normally a heavier wing is going to be more durable. One of the biggest issues in wings is that they blow out. Like they blow out, not literally just rip in half, which is one thing that can happen, but is that they stretch, right? And so they do what's called bagging out. So the canopy stretches out a lot, the leading edge uh, flexes, over flexes. And so it loses all of its, its feel. So oftentimes what we're seeing is that a wing after, you know, I had talked to a customer the other day, he changes wings every 10 times because he is just like, hey, they bag out. Like, and that's, that's totally, you know, he could do that, so it's awesome. He's always riding fresh wings and wings that he likes, but for most people, they can't just train, change over their wings every, you know, every month or so while they're riding. They wanna have a wing that's gonna last. So a heavier wing oftentimes is going to, to have more longevity and take a longer time to bag out. In the case of the, the Super Wing X, that canopy material is a little bit heavier and it just has no stretch and it's never gonna stretch. It's like plastic mylar material. It's never gonna stretch so, it's, and then they have a triple leading edge Dacron. It, it's not going to give, you know? Like it's gonna take a really long time for this wing to, to, uh, to bag out. The pro of lightweight, like we've got here with the Lula, is that it's just so easy to hold, hold over your head. Right, it's easy to hold over your head, um, particularly in bigger sizes. Like it's just easy to hold the thing up there. If like you're schlogging, you're not riding, then it's it's easy to hold. Also, luffing out uh, with a lighter weight wing, oftentimes the lighter weight wing will luff a little bit better. Luffing is kind of tricky because it has to take a good wing to be able to luff well. And just because uh, a wing is lightweight doesn't mean it's going to get on foil easier, right? So. Uh, there's, those are a couple kind of high level things that, you know, weight isn't the only metric you want to consider. You know, you do have to understand that like, hey, durability is very important. You want your wing to, wing to last. Or if you're a really small, tiny, tiny rider, you don't want to have a heavier wing that you're holding over your head. You could drop in, uh, in wing size, but a heavier big wing is going to, to make it harder to ride. So there's a few things in which you have to consider. And I'm going to take these two wings out back to back on the water and just go over some of those things on the water so you can kind of see it firsthand and how things happen. All right, see you guys on the water. All right, on water experience. So the on water experience of lightweight wing, you really notice it, like I noticed it a lot today when coming out because it's super on shore. And so I was, there's a lot of water moving along the inside. So I couldn't get going on the inside. So I was just slogging on my knees, hands over my head, you know, holding the wing. And you don't notice it that bad because the wing's lightweight. You've got some forward power, but you just don't, you know, like you don't, it's not feeling that bad. Whereas with a heavier wing, that slog on the inside is definitely challenging. 
you know, it's it's tough because you're just riding and, and you're not riding and, and you just feel it. Once you're on foil, like I noticed the I noticed the wing weight less because that then that really gets into how well was this wing designed. Like I was saying before, I've ridden plenty of wings that were lightweight that were really off balance or a lot of front hand pressure or just a lot of flutter in the wing, and it felt like a lot heavier than than it should have because of the poor performance and poor design of the wing so while riding didn't notice once you lop out oh man it's killer to have a lightweight wing because you could just forget about it even today like it's choppy and funky so i could just forget about the wing um in ride again that is definitely part of that is to do with how well the wings designed but the weight really helps a ton when you're luffing so those are the the key things the lightweight wing does well now that's heavy. Love's fine until you go straight downwind. Let's see, go straight downwind, it wants to fall quicker than a lighter wing. You get that tail heaviness, so you just cut into the wind, fluffs out. Heavier wing. So heavier wing, it's not like not good or bad. It's not worse or better. It's just different. So coming out through the white water and getting out through the beach break, definitely a little trickier because there's, you know, you've got you're holding the wing up in your schlog and you're on your knees. It's like harder to get started. This one in particular has really good forward drive, so you get up on foil quickly. So again, it kind of goes to like, yeah, it's a heavier wing, but it's easier to get up on foil with this reading than it was with the bigger size in the Alula. Um, you know, so even though it was heavier, I could, you know, I was slogging for a bit, but as soon as I felt that gust, boom, I was up on foil. When you're riding on, uh, and also the other thing is like when you hit by a gust, like that heavier size, the heavier feel just kind of absorbs the, the, the gust better. It kind of goes through the funkier, junkier conditions a little bit better because you're not getting, you know, it's not like the wing's not flexing out and feeling everything. Granted, the Alula wing is very stiff, so it's kind of on the top end of the light scale but a lot of light wings i've used have been really flexy and soft because there's just freaking no material to it um the you do notice difference on luffing when you luff out like that particularly like when you're going across the wind once there's a little bit of breeze across the 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 wing it luffs out great you know again it has to do with how the wing flies the no, the noticeable difference is when you point straight down wing the tail heaviness of a heavier wing boom that 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 tail just drops down quicker so that's really kind of the downside of the heavy wing is a uh, heavier wing is that when you carve straight downwind or going straight downwind, particularly with a bigger size than, you know, four meter or five, uh, five meter that I'm riding, is that they will be tail heavy and the tail will drop quicker uh, into, you know, drop quicker. So you have to kind of turn and get back on, uh, on a, into a direction. So overall, not better or worse, just different. Right on. That was a fun sesh riding these things back to back. So. Out there on the water, I realized there is no better or worse. Like weight does matter for depending on what you're looking for. So heavier wing, better longevity, better through kind of gusty conditions. It's gonna gonna kind of handle a little bit better. More durability to it as well. Like it's like I freaking mash my board into that thing uh, once I was on the water in the wing too. And you know it's it's totally fine. Whereas any other canopy would have been trash. Lightweight. Uh, the downside of the heavy was that. Like when you carve and you go straight, it's really on shore today, so you're going downwind on the swell a lot. So you go straight downwind or like you kind of flub a turn, the wing just wants to drop faster straight tail down uh, because it's because it's got more weight, so it's gonna, gonna drop down. Again, easy to correct with a little angle to the wind, um, but it's not as, uh, you, you know, it's something you have to, to change your style as opposed to have the wing just stick out. Lightweight, 
uh, easier to get started, easier for slogging and kind of like not going. Uh, once you're once you're going, you're you know you're kind of you don't notice a huge difference with the two wings. Lightweight, like you're gonna feel a little bit more. Uh, you're gonna feel a little bit more of everything that's happening in, in the, the wing there. Luffing is definitely a lot more uh, noticeably easier, just the wing just kind of disappears. Straight down wind, you can see that the wing does drop down, it does drop tail heavy down, but it's a slower and it's easier to recover. So for a tra you notice that in transitions or like on a swell, you're coming straight down wind. So, and also a lighter weight wing is just not gonna be quite as durable uh, and it's not gonna hold its shape for quite as long. So weight does matter, it's just a matter of what you're looking for. I'd recommend heavier wings for bigger riders because they're gonna really load them up, lighter wings for lighter riders. It's kind of that simple and then it's more specific to what you're looking to and how often you wanna replace your gear. If you have more questions, reach out online at realwatersports.com or give us a call at the shop, 252-987-6000. See you guys on the water.